Hi guys, it's Sherry from Sherry's Bag of Holding. This is totally rigged. I'm gonna call it Sherry rigged because oh my god, it couldn't get any more fragile. If I touch it, if I poke it, it's gonna fall. So I'm gonna be very careful of the table. Yes, okay, we're gonna be very careful of the table. And as you can tell, we have the coffee shirt going on. And my port's been hurting a little bit lately. I don't know. Just trying to rearrange the wheelchair so I can get up here and talk to y'all. So I'm packaging up my bags to send off to the person that bought them. And uh, Raven fixed my hair because I got to get onto speakerphone with Papa today. And uh, I, I mean, at first I was fine, right? And then I started to ball. And it wasn't anybody's fault. And when I get upset, that's when my MS starts uh, acting up. So we're going to calm down, right? <laughs> but now I'm packaging up the bags. This bag has been sold. In a gorgeous bag. Very nice. And yeah, I can put dual fists inside of it. Right, dual fists. I had Raven show the other bag. We can fit two fists in there, and get, my fists are balled up, and there's still a lot of room. I was, um, I take this little, uh, lint roller, which seems almost full, and I lint roll them because dust flies around the house, and I'm packaging up and packaging up in this little bag like this, and yes, a little unicorn thank you note. But for the most part, these are all ready to go. Now, the ties are left long for them to put beads on there or something. If you do not want the ties long, just cut them to where, you know, about that much left on it or even less. Just don't go too little because it will split. And, you know, the yarn that will split and you don't want to come unraveled. And then it'll be... Sherry, my tie unraveled, and I'm gonna go. Oh. All right, let me think about. Up, oh, yep, yeah, I, I know which color, but I'm out of this yellow color, so don't cut it too short. <laughs> this other one, the brights bag, Raven showed you all yesterday. I love this bag. Uh, I kind of, I Raven was right to go with the black ties. I was, I looked for the purple. To see if I had a purple that matched this specific purple. But because this purple has more of a reddish undertone. And my purple had a bluish undertone. Which I like. <laughs> um, I couldn't use that one. So the only purple I found was the incorrect purple. And would that make a difference? No and yes. Because I can see it but I also have more... Oh my goodness, I can tell. It's like, oh, that's a bluish undertone and that's reddish undertone. You can just see these things. And as you paint or you craft or, oh my goodness, that is such a full tea. Um, I asked Raven to fill my cup of tea up with some eye. Oh, 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 please don't spill. Yeah, it's really full. It's like, oh my goodness, full. Let's give me one second. Let me... That was really full. <laughs> really. Like, you know how when things fill and they're starting to come out of the container? And you can see, um, they call it like molecular um, magneticness or something. Where the liquid inside will get on the very edge and almost start to come out of the metal container. Or glass. Glass does it too. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what that tea was doing. Right. So, I am putting this in this bag because now it's all ready to go. And I got a little thinking note for it. Because the first thinking note didn't turn out so good. But then again, somebody bumped my arm. Gizmo. I see you. <laughs> Gizmo went to the groomers today and had her little nails cut. And I paid for the, the teeth brushing service that they do. Um... She told me how they do it, and I was like, uh-huh, okay. So they have these little dental wipes, 
that you can clean their teeth with and when you get the little dental wipe it has it's kind of like um it's not a coffee filter it's it's just a a wipe they put on your finger and it's shaped to put on your finger so you can reach in their mouth and wipe it around and it's an antibacterial wipe even though dogs have a natural antibacterial you still want to get in there and clean up because you can feel better with a fresh mouth you know so i'm just yeah i am ecstatic my father opened his eyes upon recognition of my mother and the nurse um pulled him out of sedation because they haven't sedated because we have a, a um tube in your throat when you're what is it called in what is it called Ray, Ray, excuse me Ray, Ray. yes what's it called when they put the thing in your throat intubate incubate it's not in his throat it's down his mouth it's intubate intubate same thing they did to you when you went under Ooh, when you want to for surgery, you get to think, ooh, 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 no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 I'm good, oh, no, no, that thing made my throat hurt like crazy, but my mom held the phone up to dad, and I was, papa, I was able to, um, talk to him through speakerphone, and that was nice, and tomorrow, hopefully she'll do it again, and I can talk to him again. He loves our d, &D stories. He loves to hear that, oh, this, he loves to hear that, um, that my bags, uh, you know, that go to their owners, and he just loves to hear those little stories. Makes him happy. Makes me happy. And I know he's a coffee lover. So, I told mom to take some coffee up there and let him smell the grounds because smelling is a very, it's a trigger to memories. I mean, think about it. Just think about the first time you smelled your first apple pie or the first time you smelled french fries or, oh, oh I remember spaghetti. Mm. Oh, and now Southerners, we like our fried cabbage and bacon. Mm -mm, mm -mm, we do and you can tell I like my bacon oh we love our fried cabbage and bacon and I love it too and I never knew this but Raven <laughs> Raven is not such a big fan of it but he <laughs> he eats it for me and I can prove that he's not a big fan of it because uh he won't eat the second day right cabbage is delicious when it's first made and the first day you have it, it's like oh delicious and then when you put the bacon in, you don't you don't put all the grease in the, the bacon just don't do that like well now when i cook it i put a full container of bacon bacon is no longer coming 16 ounces it's coming 12 ounces and that's not such a big container of bacon but we have four people so you got 12 by 4 that's three ounces each and that's all you need you know i mean that's all you need by the way, Raven did my hair. Doesn't it look great? He actually had it in a top knot. <laughs> Which is very cute. And I was looking at my hair in the bathroom and I'm like, why is it bawling? <laughs> it was a top knot. So, uh, but I, I couldn't fix my hair um, because I was so emotional. So he did that kindly for me. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, I'm working on another bag. I, it's uh it, it keeps me calm so it's like do 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 work on the back and just it keeps me calm and it makes me happy oh sorry I'm going to lock that wheelchair and uh yeah it just your mind doesn't have to think on it's like oh the double crochet double crochet double crochet oh going around v stitches oh oh oh, oh this is the wrong count gotta go back and pull them out and. I don't like doing that, <laughs> but I do do it. Excuse me, one second. Mm. Excuse me, if you guys need a trick to get more fluid into you, put a straw in your cup of water or your cup of tea. This is green tea, which is good for your little ticker. You know, it's good for your heart. Drink your green tea. And I drink every day or try to drink every day two cups of green tea. I wake up in the morning, I put my green tea in there, I put the topper on the, you know, the cup, 
It, it looks like a little hat with a little pointy on it. You just stick it on there. Which I did learn from Seta. And I mean, like, before that, I was just using um, like a saucer. But the little topper, the little silicone topper thing, so much easier. It, yeah, it really is. Um, to, oh, I have something to tell y'all. Today, we had hail. Didn't we, baby? Yeah. We had hail. And I was just, I thought it was somebody scratching at the back door trying to get into the house. Uh, like they're scared or something, you know? Nope, it was just hail. But, uh, I mean, if it had been another animal and they were just trying to get away from the weather, I mean, I would have welcomed them in. I would have taken them into, I probably would have put them in the bathroom or the bedroom or some, or, you know, if they had a condition, you know, like mange or something, and maybe the garage. <laughs> But, and then probably call the animal people later. <laughs> because, you know, man, you don't want to mess around mange. Mange is some, mm -mm, mm -mm. No. Oh, let's see what else. Um, we talked to Papa. Ray played, what'd you play, baby? Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls 3 for a while. And I just conked out after I got the phone Papa. It was like, La, yeah, y'all are great. <laughs> um, sleep. Uh, Raven's been working on his mattress. Ooh, let me pop. Ooh, I don't want to touch this house and it's going to fall apart. Okay, his miniatures are on the other side table. They are about eight inches out of my reach. Oh, he's going to hand me miniatures. Thank you, baby. Okay. His miniatures, and he loves me. He's very proud. No, I don't mind my fingers because I, I bumped my finger. And so it, no, I'm not flicking me off. I bumped my finger right there. And I put a band-aid on it with some Neosporin. But when I bumped, when I say I bumped it, I think, I think I'd reached into something like a box or something. And it, the box caught my cuticle and, oh, it pushed it up and it ripped it and there was blood. Oh, it hurt so bad. And the next day when I woke up, I was like, oh, it's all puffy. Get the Neosporin, put the Band-Aid on it, and you have no idea how many, time I how many times I washed my hand and forgot I had a Band-Aid on. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty silly of me, but mm, I did it anyway. Okay, let's see if we can... Oh, we can't get it close up. Oh, Raven... Mm. I think that's about as close as I'm going to be able to get with her. And have you guys see her details. They are actually very nice. I'll have Raven take some really good pictures. And here's her. See, Raven is trying to, to paint them in the same style. I'll have him put some pictures up or give them to me. And I'll put them up on the Bag of Holding website. And, uh, I mean, because these are really pretty, these are goblins, and it's actually a little, um, explorer goblin, and she's lighting a stick of dynamite. Let's see how close. Uh, can I tap it? No. Camera does not like it that close. But you can see it. She's lighting a stick of dynamite with her cigar. I'll have Raven get some much better pictures than this. I don't know why my phone cannot do close up. It has the three cameras. I just doesn't like it. Speaking of close up, I. Sorry. I, I, I tapped the table, my bad. I'm going to be picking out some D20s. I got them right here. D20s to send off with my bag. Because each bag gets a D20. Now, ugh, remembering the colors of these bags, and looking, one is, I think the one with the black ties is more masculine. Oh, that's pretty. These are some pretty D20s. Now, see, the these are perfectly balanced, the clear ones, because it's harder to hide issues from the inspectors, you know? Oh, here we go. So these, 
it's easier can you see how this one has marbling and this one is clear can you see yeah it's clear like jello it's harder to hide flaws the clear ones than the cream colored marble ones so if you're buying a clear color or if you're buying a clear one you're usually good if you're buying a marbly one which i have some really cool marbly ones like here's a really cool marble one if you if you buy marble ones, you know, make sure you roll them first. Oh, this one rolled a 14. But I know all the colors. So. See, that's the great thing. It's like when you learn people's desires with their their bags, you learn a little bit about them. It's like I know that my friend he likes deep purple blues, you know. Uh, my other friend likes more white, blacks, and golds. And Raven, goodness gracious, he likes silver and black and a deep blue like, yeah, like this. The deep royal blues. Now, I personally like, um, what is that? I like the hues of the teals and the purples i like them together and those make me happy i like silver i like i like the contrast but more importantly i like pretty much all colors pretty much i'm not a big fan of the browns with the really rich orange undertone i am not a big fan i'm just not but once you get you know that specific color ooh, look at this yellow isn't that pretty? It reminds me of yellow jello. Um, once you get that hue that I just, I'm not a fan of. See, this is actually hued in reddish. This is more of a reddish undertone. Now, every monitor will be different. So you're not going to probably be able to see it. But I can see because I'm, I have it right in front of my face. Um, oh, look at this one. This one's pretty. Ah, sorry, I'm just digging here in the bag. Look at this one, look at this one, look at this one. Oh, gosh. It's a galaxy. Let's see, is it black or is it purple? I wish I had a flashlight. It could, this could be like a really deep purple. And unless I hit it with a flashlight, I probably won't know. But you see how, how it's so fuzzy? I've clicked it and it won't. Oh, there it goes. Nice and crisp. It's a galaxy. It's got little sparkles. I like this one. Oh. Oh. I'm keeping this dice. <laughs> That's awful. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the browns. But this is actually a deep teal. Oh, it's beautiful. Pulling it down so it's more focused. There it goes. It's a deep teal. I kind of like this one. I might keep this one. Alright, I'm going to go through this bag and pick out two pretty D20s to put in their bags. And, uh, yeah, I just, I'm excited. Papa opened his eyes today. Um, only one person can go up there a day. Not two, one person. See, I originally thought it was one person at a time and you had to be scanned for COVID or prove that you don't have COVID or you had your COVID um, vaccine, which I have the first one. And Raven's going to get his COVID vaccine Tuesday, was first one Tuesday. Now, any vaccine is better than none. So, go get your vaccines. Protect your family. Protect yourself. Protect everybody you can. Now, if your vaccine, if that's introducing too much into your body right now, like they feared it would with me, um, because I had, you know, the, I just had radiation. I just had the cancer surgery. I had just had all that done. They didn't want to, uh, what would it call, overwhelm my body. So, but everything's doing good. I had the first vaccine, the first shot, which is just your, your priming shot. And then you go back and get your second shot, which is a little harsher. I'm, I can be sick. I haven't been sick in God knows how long. Let's see. I haven't been really sick. Like sick. Not the cancer. 
not the blood loss from the cancer, but actually sick, like cold. And about three years, huh? Yeah. It's been about three years. Wait, here's, this is a wood table. You're going to hear this one. There we go. Knocking on wood there. Jesse, it's okay. She's upset because of the storm. Which, it's been storming all day. Since we got home about, what was it, 10.30? Yeah. She, it's been storming all day. Now, it's more of a light drizzle now, but it was storming pretty good earlier. It was, it was very nice. Alright, y'all, go on with your weekend. You only got a little bit left, right? Excuse me. You only have a little left, so go have fun. I'll see y'all later. Like, subscribe, comment. You never know when that random bat, random act of kindness is going to happen. And it's going to happen soon. Because I, um, because I have, you need know, things go away. I told Raven about it. I pulled down two big things of yarn. And if it's in the United States, we can do a little shipment of yarn. Or we can do the bag. See, most people, that when they did the random act of kindness, they wanted a bag. And that's right up my alley. I got that. And the other people, they wanted yarn, which is just fine. I can do that, too. Um, let's see what else. Oh, I had, didn't I have somebody that was in Australia? Yeah, Miss Judy. Hey, hi, Judy. Um, uh, let's see. I sent her yarn. Mm -hmm. So don't y'all worry. Like, subscribe, comment. Give me some comments. The second I hit 20 comments, 20 separate comments, I will roll that dice and we'll see who gets the random act of kindness on this video. Remember that now. This video. Remember, Ray. This video. All right, y'all. Like, subscribe, comment. I'll see y'all later.